Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here, and happy Father's Day. I will talk about some whiskey. We're going to look at this Tamdu, and I'll mention a couple things about Gandaronic. But really, what I'm hoping today is just pour a dram, say a couple of things about maybe being a father or wishing good things for fathers out there, and just relax with you guys. So, if you're looking for an intense whiskey review, maybe click on the next one. So, today, my family gave me this. Well, my wife gave me this. <laughs> And uh, I have been interested in trying out the Tamdu cask strength uh, for some time. I've only had the Tamdu 12. I haven't had a lot from their line. This is the Batch 5. Um, batch 5 Batch Strength. Released at 59.8%. I know this has been aged, I think, entirely in Oloroso casks. Yeah, first fill, no, high portion, we're first fill. Um, yeah, aged exclusively in Oloroso Sherry Cass. A high portion of first fill. So, hopefully you have a good whiskey. If your father's still with you, you've taken the time to at least give him a call. Uh, and if you are a father, hopefully your children have spoiled you with something like this. So, cheers to all the dad. Uh, I don't know enough about Tamdu. I know this is non-chill filtered. Did I say that already? But I, I, I believe they color some of their other products. So I don't know if this is natural color or not. Talk whiskey for a moment because that's something I know a little bit about. We'll see how it goes. Ah, first thoughts. There's a lot of, you know, richer sherry in here. Little, little musty, little spicy, little coffee. Mmm. Very nice and rich though. Just a nose that says, oh, this is going to be good. Here's where I should say, cheers to all the dads out there. Sláinte. Mmm. Really good. You know, at 58, strong. You know, 58 or so percent, it's pretty strong. This definitely needs some time to open up, and I'm definitely going to put some water on it, see where it goes. But the nose is rich, thick, fig, dark grape, plum. Grape's too fresh. More raisin, sultana. Palette again. The palate isn't as sweet as I'm expecting. And that was, I think, my comment about a bit of water, a bit of thyme. It's a little bit playing into, into oaky and spicing and Christmas spices. I like all of that. But I was expecting the nose to translate into a little more um, a little more fruit character. And it's pretty, pretty drying and oaky. Very oak forward. I like it though. I like it a lot. So as I said, this isn't really a deep review. I just wanted to taste this because my wife gave it to me. And then I thought I'd pour out this Glendronic. Uh, about three years ago, not quite, my dad passed away. And uh, once the whole day had settled in, uh, came home and I opened up this bottle. So it's been open for almost three years. It's a cask strength, single cask, 2003, aged 11, only PX, uh, Glendronic, 54.8%. And I remember buying the bottle before I really knew that I should have leapt at the bottle. But it was a great open for when Dad passed away. This is the warning, less about whiskey, just a moment for Dad's. Man, that's a good whiskey. I chose to put it in this glass, uh, not because my dad was a you know rabid Oilers fan or even a really big sports sports guy, but he loved the Oilers. And later in life, before his illness really kind of took him, he was really getting into it. Him and mom were starting to go to just about every game, watching on TV, and it became a real memory. For me, uh, because you know, I was a bit older, and you kind of learn. Oh, is that, is that dad? So that was cool, and I thought, well, I'll remember him. 
before this in here. I actually went earlier to his gravesite. I don't know about you guys, but um, my dad influence uh, continues to come out as I age and I'm a father. He was an academic, so he had lots and lots of words. But I'll tell you, actions speak louder than words. We've got to say the words, mean the words. Uh, I'm not against that, but I'll, I'll, I'll say the times when he, uh, you know, picked me up. Or, <laughs> man, i got to have a sip for this memory. <laughs> One thing I remember, he, I, I, uh, I had a car. Well, actually, he let me use a family car, but almost exclusively as mine. When I was that 16, 17-year-old, right? Pretty young guy. And I must have dinged that car up on, on so many things. I didn't realize I was such a poor driver. But I got into a number of small, you know, hit a curb here type accidents. And heading into that time in my life, I would have said, Oh, my dad, he's going to get so angry. He's going to be so upset. What a whiskey, by the way. Holy mackerel. But he, not once did he lose it on me for damaging the car. I can't say he was overjoyed. But he always focused on, are you okay? How are we going to get this repaired? Are you going to pay for some of it? I've got it. We're going to do this through insurance. Whatever it was. It really stood out to me. So much so. When my son took the car. <laughs> he was 17, I think. Slid into the back of a truck. It did nothing to the truck. But the hitch uh, did something to the front of my car. I immediately remembered every moment with my dad. And I passed it on. Son, are you okay? Don't worry about the car. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Wild moments, eh? I hope you guys have a few things to connect to with your dad. Obviously, I could sip this and spend the afternoon. If you knew my dad, we'd share and swap some stories. I know you don't. I know this is a whiskey channel. And I'll just say, this Glendronic isn't as juicy as this Tamdu. But it is really coating around in there right now. It's a little sweeter with that PX cherry. And just was a fantastic bottle all the way through and a great tribute. So I said I went to visit Dad at the graveside and I poured, not the last of it, because the last of it is here. But I poured a little bit, thanked him for a lot of his love and good teaching. And hope that I can be that kind of father to my kids. Hope you guys all are uh, having a great day. And if uh, memories of dad is tough for you, I wish you healing so you can have a fantastic next part of whatever that is. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. You guys are great. Have a great week.